The Aqueduct Near Rome, a painting by Thomas Cole, expresses through symbolism the main idea of the American Romanticism movement. Thomas Cole loads the painting with ideas common at the time, such as the size of man compared to nature. In addition, technology appears to have inclined at a point and quickly descends as represented by the breaking of the aqueduct and the cycle of domestication occurring in the background. Ultimately, Thomas Cole painted this not just for his natural beauty, but to mock the age of reason. Nature's dominance over man is the key concept as proven through the decline of man and the crumbling of technology. Human technology crumbles before them because man is not fit for survival in this area. Below the tower is a small pond. Next to the pond sits a human skull staring away from the expanse of land and the broken aqueduct. The skull represents man's failure in this land, and looking away from the land and the aqueduct, the skull displays man's knowingness of the failure that has occurred. Similarly, nature is pushing through the blockades man established. A rock was placed to stop the flow of water, the water spews out into the pond nonetheless, representing man's inability to survive on this land. The state of the aqueduct, specifically the tower, expresses the willingness of the people to abandon the area with the personal horizon being the difference. The ruins of the aqueducts display the mindset of the humans, knowing that the cause is hopeless in this land. Ultimately, nature displays its power to the humans, enough so that the humans abandon this land. The romantic period of American literature also mocks the age of reason with a symbolism that points towards the destruction of humans by humans. In the distance, the aqueducts are perfectly linked, but around the person, the aqueducts are shattered. Cole symbolizes that man destroyed the aqueduct because only surrounding the figure in the background are the aqueducts broken. About 20 years after the aqueduct near Rome is painted, Thomas Cole paints the exact same scene but from a different viewpoint. In this viewpoint, from the Roman Campana, it is apparent that the shepherd is staring off into the distance while his animals do as they please. One animal even stands on a rock afar from the man, and the man expresses no empathy. Instead of taking pride in their work, people have lost interest and collapsed, just as the shepherd appears to have done with his face buried in his arm. With a prime example being the shepherd, the people have destroyed themselves because they have lost interest in their labor. The ultimate mockery of the age of reason is that nature restarts over it. The mountains loom over the landscape, dwarfing the man-made technology of the aqueducts. The mountains appear to usher in an idea that the glory of reason is nothing compared to the size and power of nature. In addition, over the dismantled structures, plants, moss, and weeds grow through, appearing to decorate the architecture. Finally. Cole displays the backwards movement of civilization. The aqueducts represent the power of bringing water necessary for survival to a concentrated civilization. Not that they are broken, however. Civilization is restarting with domestication represented by the man, because the invention that allowed for survival in a concentrated area is now gone. As the power of man declines and the destruction of technology occurs, nature regains power in the area. The painting Aqueduct near Rome and its later counterpart Roman Campana are ideal American Romanticism paintings because of the strong symbolism of nature over technology as well as nature over man. Even though there are many firm believers in the age of reason, the paintings in this time period mainly represented these incredible views of nature by American Romanticism painters. Which is another important thing to note, that while these paintings may have been jammed with symbolism, they still represent the beauty of our world. Hence, they should not be downgraded by a person's opinion of the American Romantic period versus the Age of Reason.